In this video tutorial, we're going to learn to um, model a low-poly low boat. Um, we're not going to do every detail, um, but I'm going to show you how to build the uh, basic shape really easy. And uh, we're going to do that using the lattice tool, so you're going to get to learn to use the lattice tool. Um, I think, uh, <clears throat> pardon me, it's probably a underutilized tool in hexagon, and I know there's probably a lot of uh, new hexagon users that have no idea what it is or how to use it. So let's get started. We're going to start by putting a cube into our scene, and we're just going to Let's see, drag it out <clears throat> in the Z direction and a little bit in the X. And let's see, we'll go to face selection and we'll kind of drag this down a little bit. And then I'm going to tap the X key, which is going to bring up my tessellate menu. And we're going to click on the tessellate by slice. And then I'm going to hold my shift key so that uh, my loop slice will be right in the middle. And then we'll put uh, one there and one there. And then we'll slice it right down the middle too. You can hit enter or the validate key to close that tool. <coughs> And right now, all we're going to do is just build the basic shape. Uh, I do that in most of my modeling. Uh, I just build a silhouette first, and then slowly add geometry and details. Okay, let's uh, turn on the symmetry in the X direction. Let's grab this uh, edge here. And then let's grab this middle edge here and pull that out just a, a bit. And I'll grab this one and this one and pull them out just a bit. We may have got it a little too bulky there. Yeah, I think that's a little bit better. Yeah. All right. Uh, Let's go ahead and add us another slice. Okay, I've got this warning window here uh, come up. It says this tool does not work with symmetry. Each time this tool doesn't work with symmetry, the symmetry plane turns red. Okay, remember that. And I'm going to click validate. And then I'm going to abort uh, my tessellation. I'm going to go ahead and turn off the symmetry. Uh, you can turn on and off symmetry with the context menu or you can do it right up here in the properties panel um, so now with the symmetry turned back off I'm um, going to go back to my tessellation tool we're just going to hold shift to snap to one of these uh, center edges here and then click to create a new loop right around the center there Okay, let's uh, select these top faces here and delete those. I think, let's turn our symmetry back on, go back to edge, pull that out maybe a bit more. Uh, let's uh, turn these grids off, which you can do that in the scene panel under the properties tab. And just click these little icons here to turn those grids off. <clears throat> and we definitely want to have the grids off when we start working with our um, lattice tool because it uh, will definitely uh, visually be in the way. Okay, we've selected that whole bottom. Um, 
center edge loop right there and pulled it down a little bit <coughs> now let's go to the <coughs> pardon me again um, to the point selection mode and just kind of drag this up I think that should be good enough and so now let's uh, go ahead and add one level of subdivision to this go ahead and turn off our symmetry and we'll do that up here in the properties panel and we're just going to click on the one icon and then <clears throat> if you don't know about dynamic geometry um, I can't I'm not going to explain it to you right now uh, but anytime you add a smoothing level to finalize that smoothing level you have to go down here in, <clears throat> in your dynamic geometry panel and just click the little lightning bolt and that will uh, collapse your dynamic geometry and you will see you have a, a lot more uh, geometry there to work with <clears throat> okay now as you can see it's it's pretty rounded up um, so we're gonna start using the uh, lattice tool here in just a second uh, to start reshaping our uh, boat hull but uh, before we do that <clears throat> let's go back to uh, turn our symmetry back on and go to the face selection mode and let's go ahead and grab uh, these faces here and let's uh, flatten that out okay as you can see the back of our bolt hole is flat now <clears throat> Hopefully you've uh, saw one of the uh, house modeling tutorials and saw how um, to flatten things out. Okay, now let's go to the utilities tab and let's go right here. And what you'll do is a uh, the taper should be showing but you're just going to click on that we're going to go down to the last icon here which is uh, the lattice deformer okay as what you can see <clears throat> is around the whole model there is a uh, a whole lot of uh, a, a cage and that cage is uh, going to allow us to um, kind of soft select and and pull our geometry around uh, to reshape it <clears throat> now you've got uh, points and edges all around this thing and you can adjust the uh, number of edges and points you have on this cage and you do that there's a small icon uh, right here it's um, you you can see that um, we have one icon here uh, that's highlighted right now but let's click on the one just below that and you have all these settings here uh, which allows you to change uh, your your values on the cage so we're just going to drag this down in the U direction to 2. Well, let's just take them all down to 2. <clears throat> and when those are set at 2, you can see we just basically have a box around there. So the U direction, if I, if I bring that up to 3, the U uh, will be in the middle there, going this way. And that's what we want that we want that one slice around the middle there and then the V is um, this direction across the middle and then the W direction 
will give us slices down the middle and we want four of those. Now um, to return back to the uh, edit mode we'll just click on that little icon again. If you if you click apply or uh, validate it'll end the tool and you have to go back into it. Okay now let's go to uh, edge selection here. <clears throat> when this tool is active you can't use the, the context menu. Uh, you have to pretty much go up here and just uh, click on whatever um, component selection you want. And we'll have, turn on symmetry in the X direction. You click on these front two edges and you can just begin to drag it. <clears throat> And as you can see, that kind of works like a uh, soft selection uh, to continue to um, add detail to a boat or continue to tweak the shape of it. And actually, that's that looks pretty good. And we're just going to drag this up a little bit. Uh, let's give the bottom of the hull a little more shape. Drag it down there. And let's go ahead and validate that. And that's a pretty decent boat hull there. Let's see here. Let's see what it looks like if we loop select this top edge here and delete it. Mm, I think I like that better. So now uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back to the point select mode. I'm just going to kind of grab this point here and just kind of Drag it up a little bit. Mm, I think that's good enough. Let's go ahead and turn off our symmetry. And uh, you've got a fairly decent bolt hole there. And now what I would do is I would go to the surface modeling tab. And under the surface modeling tab I'm going to use a thickness tool. And the thickness tool is right here. Uh, so I'm going to click that. And we're going to make sure it has the outside thickness. So it gives some um, depth or geometry. And then I'll go here to the value. <clears throat> and I can use this little arrow key um, to click and drag on it. Or I can go into uh, the box itself and highlight those numbers and then I can use the middle mouse wheel to scroll up and down to change that value. So let's see here. Let's give it a thickness of about that and then I'm going to validate. Alright, that's a uh, pretty decent there. Um, I'm not going to uh, model this whole thing, um, but I just wanted to introduce you to the uh, lattice tool and kind of give you a general idea on how to build that uh, boat. Let's turn our symmetry back on. And uh, pretty often I will use uh, the symmetry tool so that when I highlight something uh, a face or something when I when I'm in uh, want to do a bridge because <clears throat> this face is highlighted over here and and uh, I know I'll need to select this adjacent face the other highlighted one then I can turn out turn off my symmetry and then I can go to the vertex modeling tab and use the bridge tool which which will give us a seat in there. Of course this is probably not exactly the way I would uh, build this boat uh, 
but it'll give you a, a pretty good idea of of how to do that if you decide you want to build one. Um, I'm going to make sure I'm in face selection. I'm going to go ahead and grab uh, these front four faces here. And I'm just going to delete those faces. <clears throat> and then I'm going to go back to edge selection. Grab this edge here, this edge here, and then bridge those. And uh, you can't, cannot use. Uh, let me just show you. If I select this face, this edge, and this edge, and then try to bridge that, it won't work because uh, those uh, edges you share uh, a. Uh, point which is right here if those if two edges share a uh, vertice or point whatever you want to call it um, the bridge tool won't work so in this case I would just go to my primitives primitives tool and use the facet tool to draw out a new face here and I'm gonna hold my shift key snap to those points and then hit enter uh, to create that new face and of course you have a triangle here and triangles are okay in some places and in this model that triangle would probably be okay just drag those faces up a little bit mm. But let's go ahead and fix that triangle. I'm going to highlight these two edges, tap my X key to draw a uh, edge there. And then I can go ahead and pull this up a little bit and rotate it a little bit. Maybe drag it up a little bit more. And uh, by the way, when we added that edge, we did fix that triangle. I'll go ahead and um, I'm going to go ahead and control C and control V that and drag it up. Okay, this is shaped, this polygon is shaped like a triangle, but it actually is a quad. Go to point selection mode here. As you can see, it has one, two, three, four points. And a, a quad or polygon is a is a face with uh, connected uh, built out of four more uh, points. Uh, let's see here. So let's go ahead and control Z that. I think uh, we've run into a pretty good amount of time here on this, so that's going to be it. Um, hope uh, you learned something in this tutorial. And uh, course this model is I'm not going to say it's complete by any any means but hopefully that gives you a, a really good idea of how to get you started on building a uh, bolt hole and uh, helped you uh, learn uh, a new tool which was the lattice tool so that's going to be it for this tutorial and hope to have another tutorial or two up before long. So have a great day.